my iPad setup I use to stay productive as a mechanical engineering student. The first part of this video is how to stay focused using your iPad, because there was research done in 2008 that every three minutes workers actually switch between tasks. And the worst part about this research was it took them another 23 minutes to refocus. So what does this mean for us students? It means that when you're trying to do like a maths proof, stick with it for more than three minutes. You know, don't instantly go and try and look up the answer. Try and battle with the information, try and make it hard. And that's my superpower. I use my time block to have periods of time where I'm doing one thing at once and I'm focusing all my energy on it. Because if I'm doing loads of things at once, I don't have as much time throughout the day because as that research shows, it takes another 23 minutes to refocus. And, it, and if I'm constantly switching between different tasks, it'll take me another four hours to do what one hour would have taken. Where it locks my iPad on like OneNote throughout the day so that I don't procrastinate on different things. You can en enable it on settings. You just triple click the side button and then you can set a period of time. These are my settings. So if I'm in a lecture, and it's around two hours, I'll set that period of time for two hours. So I'm just with the lecture material and with the lecture slide on my OneNote and I'm annotating over it. I'm trying to be active as possible, asking questions, trying to interrogate the subject, try and break it down, trying to understand it. It's Opal, it allows you to have three apps free. I use it on Safari, on Mail app, and they're the only ones I get distracted with between switching between. So if I want to get onto those apps, I have to wait around 30 seconds before I can actually enter into that app. And then it will lock it in like 10 minutes or something. So that helps me stop procrastinating and looking up the answers instead of trying to actively do it myself. I think one thing is that studying is really ugly and the iPad can actually make it a bit more pretty. And I don't think the iPad, that's its function. It's to actually learn the material and actively go through it. I also use it on grayscale where you can just use color filters. I use reduced white points to help my eyes and I have it in dark mode and I have night shift on the whole time. That helps me be able to use my iPad for longer. So that's what I use to stay focused throughout the day using my iPad. And I'm going to show you the apps I use. The main app I use on my iPad on a daily basis is OneNote. Why this is so great is because it's free. If you've got, if you're at university or you're at school, you should have like a Microsoft account. So you can just use that account and then you have like unlimited storage, hopefully. So that's what I do. I have a notebook for each of my subjects. So for dynamics, these are the courses I'm doing this semester at university. As you can see here, I've organized it like into lectures, into my past papers, resources, lab materials, courseworks. And this allows me to have a good organization of all the material and have it all in one place and one click away. And it's really small, like you just chuck it in your bag and then you can just go to your lectures and review the material, just pull your iPad out. One thing I've realized is the best people in my course, we all have iPads. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's like placebo effect or something. The really cool thing about OneNote, especially why I love it is because of the feature of the infinite canvas. So when I review my flashcards on the computer, I basically just make a mind map of the information. So I'm trying to build a bigger understanding of all the information, trying to link it all together. It allows me to understand the Anki flashcards whilst I'm reviewing them on my computer. Cool thing about OneNote is also is you can add YouTube videos on it and it syncs really well with a computer. It syncs in real time. So if you're making a proof on your iPad, you can screenshot it over into an Anki flashcard really quickly on a computer. So that's one thing that's really, really cool is the syncing capability. Another thing I used a lot at university is I shared a notebook with my friends so that we were all editing on the same notebook. I don't know if you would like that, but say you've got a massive coursework. So this especially worked for my design work where we all had to annotate over the same lecture slides, build a design of a prototype of a lathe model in my mechanical engineering degree. And this was great because I could annotate over it. We could brainstorm ideas and it was incredibly, incredibly useful. The second most used app on my iPad is Anki. You can easily connect a controller to it. Very portable, easy to set up, to review. You can do it anywhere because of how lightweight the iPad is. The only disadvantage is it is 25 pounds. You can just use the free version on your computer. But for me, it's worth it when I'm on the go and I don't have my computer with me for some reason. 
if you have an iPhone, you can sync the app onto your iPhone, which is really useful. I use my iPhone the most to review language, learning flashcards, use my, my controller, and it's really, really helpful because you just flick through it and you just get through them really quickly. Say I'm doing my dynamics tutorials, right? And then you can annotate over the screen whilst you review that question, right? You, you can annotate over the screen. And this is incredibly useful. I do think that just using OneNote as the main annotator to use an infinite canvas is much more useful because you can link in all the flashcards together, which is really helpful for me. Just like normal calendar app, this is incredibly useful for me. I just tracked literally my whole week on there. That was last week. And this allows me to stay more productive throughout the day. I have like a week standard that I try and set for like a year. So when I'm setting my goals for the year, I try and break it down. Okay, if you want to run a marathon, what's the weekly goal that you have to set to get every week in order to get there? So that for me, that's running like three to four times a week, running five to four miles every time. And that helps me keep that discipline, keep that standard and just focus on what's essential. So that when I'm making my time block, when I go to bed, I can look at my iPad, um, look at my weekly goals, reviews, which I have on my notes app, which is Apple Notes. Um, so yeah, it's just a simple process of writing to-do lists like this, writing down everything you wanna do. Um, I don't know, I don't use any fancy to-do list app or anything like that. I just use the Apple Notes because it's so reliable. I have a shortcut on my phone that I can just quickly tap things and capture things quickly and it works for me. These are the ones that I like to do as my hobbies. So the main hobby for me is guitar. Then it's actually like learning language on Anki or Link um, and then playing chess. They're my main hobbies. Keep it simple, stupid. You don't need to overcomplicate the system. You just need to follow the system that works for you. Stick to apps. Don't keep switching between them. Just stick to an app and just try and make it work for you and try and create a system to help you use it to do active recall and all these other things. So that's what I did. Picked Anki, picked OneNote, picked just Apple Calendar, Apple Notes, and I'm just sticking to them for the next five years. That might be a bit now reminded of me, but they're, all, they're the apps that work for me. They're just an app. It's not what makes you productive. You are what makes you productive. You don't need some flashy apps to do that. Just keep it simple. Keep doing the thing. And if you do the thing, that's all that matters. If the app helps you do the thing, great. But it's not about the app. It's about you doing the work, you doing the thing. But this is my iPad set up for productivity. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your week. And thank you very much for watching this video. And peace. Love you all. Bye-bye.